Around this time of year, people visiting the Caribbean take home memories of its crystal blue waters. But there's another beautiful blue item that tourists can really take home. Meg Oliver is here to tell us all about it. Meg, good morning. Good morning, Michelle. It's a rare gemstone discovered in the Dominican Republic more than 100 years ago. Getting it out of the ground has been a dangerous process. As work is being done to improve the situation, the exports of the stone are on the rise. In the heart of the Dominican Republic's Baruco mountain range, high above the turquoise sea, sits a rare gem. It's so rare and so extraordinary to think that Earth created this blue stone. You know, it's kind of a reflection of our sea. That reflection is a blue gemstone called Larimar. Harala Caridad is a second-generation jewelry designer in Santo Domingo. It's been her parents' livelihood. When I grew up, I saw them creating and transforming the stone from raw, going to the mines, visiting all the miners. It's a whole world for us. For me, Latimer means family, the Caribbean, and the warm waters of the Caribbean. Caridad's father opened the Larimar Museum in Santo Domingo in 2001 to preserve the stone's rich history. He started working with Latimer more than 40 years ago. He saw the interest of the people from abroad. And the only place in the world that has been found is in the Dominican Republic. What he thought is we should have a museum where all of our students, all of Dominicans, could know about this important geographic event. Larimar was first discovered in 1916 along the shore, but it wasn't until 1974 locals traced the stone source to a massive rock formation deep inside the volcanic mountain. A local jeweler sent a sample to the Smithsonian, which identified it as a pectolite. Mining and marketing of the stone quickly followed. It used to be thought of as something your grandma would wear, but now younger generations can't get enough of it. Yeah, and that, that's the thing, like new generations are coming and it's such a beautiful stone. Artisans shape and polish Larimar for everything from pottery to jewelry, like rings, bracelets, and necklaces. Caridad was studying fine arts in London when she created her pool ring. How did you come up with that signature design? I come from the Caribbean in London. It's a very cloudy um, place. And I remember that I took some of those pieces of Latimer that my dad had gave it to me just in case I did something with them. And I look at them, I was just mesmerized by the water effect when it looks just like water. The stone mesmerizes you. Yeah, exactly. So I saw the stone, I was like, oh my God, I wish I could just jump in there. Just being there, like the warm waters, clear waters of, of Dominican Republic. For years, miners had to dig deeper and deeper into old volcanoes, risking their lives in the process. It's hot, it's difficult to work in there. Filmmaker Amelia Deschamps produced the 2022 documentary In Search of the Blue Heart, highlighting the dangerous work so many miners endured in search of the stone. And I hope that with this documentary, people start understanding how difficult it is to extract the Larimar in order to value it more, not only recognize it as the Dominican stone and this blue stone. In recent years, the Ministry of Energy and Miners have invested millions of pesos to rehabilitate the mine's surroundings, reduce the risk for workers, and improve safety conditions. The authorities are trying to make new studies to find if there is more Larimar in the mountains that are next to this one, that it can be a chain of mountain with Larimar. It's estimated the value of Larimar jewelry exports soared in 2021 to more than 12 million, up from more than 7 million in 2020 and just over a million in 2018. 99% of all exports were shipped to the United States. Is Larimar having a moment? Definitely. He has been having a moment since a few years now. It's a, a stone that we have to cherish because we don't know until when we're gonna be able to enjoy it as we're doing now. Miguel Mendez, who helped rediscover the stone in the 1970s, named it after his daughter Larissa and Mar, 
which is the Spanish the word sea. for sea. sea. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people confuse it for turquoise. I got the pool ring in a necklace, and I also ah. got a ring. Yeah. Um, but Laramar has white and gray stones and veins, and turquoise is more dark brown and darker. Okay. And, yeah. and it varies, too. I was just in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> I did buy two pieces. I would have bought more, but but it is such a range. I would have, I would imagine, too, though, it mm -hmm. would the supply might be limited. Well, they've they've estimated that it only had about 25 more years, and that was in 1992, but here we are in 2024, and it's still going, so they're really holding on to it. And it's still fairly accessible. It's not yeah. exorbitant. No, no, no. I mean, I think this was maybe about $200, my uh, the necklace, and I can't remember how much the ring was, but it ranges from yeah. a few hundred to thousands. Really, really beautiful. Meg, thank you. Thank Great you. story.